Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Um, as I said in my previous video, I've been working early voting here in New York State and dear Lord, the turnout has been phenomenal. Lines, lines, lines all day long. I mean, we just go from the time polls open until even after the polls close. If you're in line in New York State when the polls close, they have to let you vote. But it, the turnout has been amazing. And uh, I just have been so, so exhausted this week. Uh, I mean, I can't even believe it's Friday already. I The week just flew by. But um, I just wanted to get a short video out to you guys. I don't have a ton of stuff in this haul. But I have a bunch of friend mail here that I'm feeling really bad about not having opened. And uh, I wanted to um, give my thank yous to those who have sent me friend mail. Um, you're probably all, you probably all have been waiting for me to open your friend mail. And uh, I feel bad that I haven't, uh, you know, since I got it. Um, <clears throat> so after I do this haul, I'm going to open up some packages. This isn't even all of it. I do have more. But uh, I don't want to make this a really huge, long video because I'm pretty tired tonight, too. So uh, I just wanted to get one up for you guys. Let you know I'm still around. I'm still here. Um, so anyway, let's get into this haul. This, Like I said, this is a pretty small haul. Um, but I'm going to get started. Got a couple of food items. I picked up a package of this, a bag of these Utz Rippled Sour Cream and Onion Potato Chips. I love these things. They're like one of my favorite potato chips. It's a 2.875 ounce bag and you get quite a bit of product in here. And I just love these. So Utz brand, I don't know if all of you people get Utz brands potato chips, but these are really good. And uh, it says right on the package, that they sell for $1.89 in your, you know, local marts. So, um, to get them for a dollar, yes. Thank you very much, Dollar Tree. Um, next food item I picked up was these Flips pretzels. They're covered in white fudge. These things are delicious. We, we got, my store got them in the white fudge and the chocolate. Um, I believe the chocolate ones are gone already. Sorry. But I did pick up the white ones, and these are a great deal for this price. Um, the bag is 3.25 ounces, and it says there's three servings, three one-ounce servings in here. So, you know, for me, not three servings, but I really like these, and I recommend them. And the chocolate ones, obviously, because they're gone already. Um, and then I picked up some candy for myself and my mom. I picked up two packages of each of these. I'm going to keep one for myself and one for mom. And I picked up some of the Red Bird candy. Um, they usually have these peppermint ones. And I really like these a lot. I don't know if you guys have ever had these before. Let me just show you what they look like up close. They're a mint but they're a soft mint and they're yummy, yum, yum, yummy. And I really like these a lot. And I know my mom likes them a lot. So I picked up a pack of the peppermint ones. They're called candy puffs. They're like a puffy type. They're not like, they're a hard candy, but they're not hard. So I picked up one pack for me and one pack for mom. Put that over there, make sure I give that to her. That one's open already. And then I found the puffs in a cotton candy flavor. And I got one for me and one for mom. Give that to mom. And then I found blue raspberry red bird puffs. Candy puffs. So I know she really likes uh, raspberry. So I'm sure she'll like these. I don't know how much she'll like the cotton candy ones. Maybe she'll give some out to her friends at the home. But, you know, I got these for mom especially. But And then I said, you know what? I'm going to get one for me too. So that's how I ended up with one each bag. Um, and then I found the Trident Vibes Sour 
Berry Twist Gum. And look at the size of this package of gum. This goes for well over $2, probably close to 3 in like your local um, drugstore, like CVS or whatever. Is this upside down? Yes, it is. Trident Vibes. I'm not a huge gum chewer, but I picked up one to maybe keep in the car. And then I think I uh, picked up another one at another time to put like in one of the kids' uh, stockings. And I might even do that with this one because, like I said, I'm not a huge gum chewer. But I was like, this is a great deal. You get 40 pieces of gum. 40 pieces of gum. So if you're a gum chewer, yeah, baby. And it's in this nice, hard plastic container. You could put this in your um, cup holder in your car and just have it there for when you need a piece. I just thought it was a great deal. And I was like, yeah, let me get one of these. I'll probably end up giving them to the kids in their Christmas stocking. All right, that's all I got for food. Um, for health and beauty, I found um, another pack of the Freeman two-pack of uh, masks. This one is a water gel mask, hydrating in cactus and cloudberry. And it's a special two-pack. It comes one like this. And then it's got the Neon Vibes one on the back. And it's two-pack. You get two for a dollar. And these one is more than a dollar in Target and Walmart and all that. So you're getting two for a dollar. And this is the, the Neon Vibes clay mask. The other one is this clay mask and something else. I think it was the black one, whatever one that is, charcoal mask. But I picked up three of those to have to give to friends and maybe in friend mail or in a giveaway. So I got those. And then I picked up this Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Nasal Infuser. Uh, people gave this, other haulers gave this a really good review. So if you have, you know, like nasal congestion or you have trouble, you know, breathing, whatever, this is a uh, Cooling and refreshing natural mint oil uh, clears away clears a, airways when breathing. Relief of navel na, navel congestion. Psh, psh, spray it in your belly. No nasal congestion uh, due to colds. Packed with natural essential oils, non medicated. And I picked one of those up. And then I picked up, uh, yeah, I got some navel congestion here. No, I'm only kidding. Um, I picked up the Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Lip Balm. I'm going to give this a try. Um, one of the other haulers raves about this. I think it's Anna from Only In My Dreams. Um, I'm not a huge chapstick type person. Don't like chapstick, that waxy feeling. But there are a couple that I really enjoy. The Vaseline um, Lip Balm. And um, there's another one in a silver thing that is kind of expensive. Dollar Tree doesn't sell it. Um, but those are my two favorite. I actually had to order that on Amazon. If I remember, I'll show it in my next video. But I thought I'd try this because they were raving about it. So I grabbed that. And then I picked up a two-pack of the face masks that Dollar Tree sells just to keep in my car in case I forget one of my masks for all you, all my, all my subscribers that have sent me face masks. I wear them all the time, um, but I like to have these uh, either for myself or for friends when we forget our masks and, you know, we're in the car, we got to run in the store or whatever. We're like, oh, shoot, I don't have a mask. Keep these in the console of my car. So there's two of them in the pack. Um, then I got some crafty items. I got the uh, Clean Colors washable paint in the silver glitter. I think I got some silver glitter paint before, but I picked up this because I think I couldn't remember whether I got it or not. Because the brain is not, the memory is not what it used to be. And it's washable, so I thought, you know, Caroline and I could have some fun with this, you know, for Christmas decorating and stuff. Um, I picked up some ribbons. 
<clears throat> these are not Christmas ribbons. I just picked these up because they were really pretty and I liked them a lot. I picked up this one with the pink and the blue. Real pretty. I hope the reflection isn't too much on that. I thought it was nice. It'd be great for like a baby shower or, you know, a little girl. And then I picked up this unicorn Pegasus. I don't know what it is. Is it a unicorn? You, does a unicorn have wings? I don't know. Does this have wings? Yes, it does. I don't know. But I thought it was cute and kind of unicorny. And then I picked up this one that's just got stars on it, but they're all pretty colors. Like there's all different colors. There's green and red and pink and they're just really pretty. And they're all um, three yards and five eighth inches. So I grabbed those because they were new and I liked them. Um, I picked up a pack of these Crafter Square wood planks. They're four by four inches and you get six of them. Now, one of my subscribers uh, emailed me about or messaged me, I don't know, on Facebook, that she was looking for the longer ones of these. There's a, apparently some rectangular ones, and, which I have not seen, but I told her I would look out for them. Hey, can I open this? Yeah, let's see. What, let's just check out what they look like out of the package. Let's just check them out. Because I'm curious, and I'm sure you are too. All right, so there's six of them in the pack. All right, they're pretty thick. They're pretty thick. Oh, yeah, these are really nice. This is what they look like. And look at how thick they are. Wow, these are make some really nice crafting. I should have got more of these. You know, I can't even remember what store I got these in. It might have been Brunswick. And it's, a, it be, it's been a while. Like, this stuff has been around since the beginning of this month, and I'm just getting around to hauling it. But what a great find. Wood planks. Six of them for a dollar. Wow. I hope I can find some more of those. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, I picked up some more of the Jewel uh, Crafter Square Jewel Border stickers, but they had them in pink this time, which I thought was really pretty. So I got two packages of the pink. Love these. Because I got the silver and the gold previous and the clear whatever. I don't know. And then I found it in blue as well. These are great little crafting stickers. Love them. Love, love, love them. So I got two blue and I got two pink. I really like these a lot. Lot, lot, lot. Um, then I got, I found this magnet and I had to get it. It says, I love cats. And it's got the ears and the tail and the footprint. And I just thought I got to get that. It's one of those ceramic type. Um, I have no nails. I just cut my nails. And uh, I got that to put on the fridge. I do love cats. Um, I also found another of the butterflies. These are really pretty. These were in the crafting section. These are by Fla, 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 Floral Garden. And I had picked up one that was kind of like an iridescent before. And then this one, the white one, I thought was really pretty. I just really like that a lot. And it's got the... Um, alligator clip on the back grab that and I grabbed this pumpkin um just little platter I got it because I thought it was really pretty I loved the silver and I thought I would do something with that but fall is almost over and maybe I'll just keep it to do at another time because this has just been a hectic hectic fall hectic very hectic but we'll see. I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe I could use it for Thanksgiving even. And then I picked up a, a couple of um, uh, decor, wall decor. I got this one, K Sarah Sarah, 
because my mom always used to say that. So I said, you know what, I got to get that. So I just thought that was really pretty. And it's, you know, it's got this like oil slick look, you know, whatever they call that look all the way around in the frame. And then it looks like that on the back. So even if you didn't like the saying, I mean, this is a beautiful frame. You could take the back off and take this, the guts out here and put in whatever you wanted. But I got that one, K sera sera. I picked up this gold one that says, she is an unstoppable force. And I thought I might put this in my new office. This has got the gold frame. Very, very pretty. You know, I didn't think I had anything to measure, but let me just reach over here, grab my measuring tape just to measure these so you can know how big they are. Because, you know, sometimes we show things on camera and they're really very deceiving. Yeah, these are six by six. So these are six by six frames. This one and this one. There were a couple others sayings that just didn't ring a bell or, you know, make me say, yeah, I want to buy that. So I just got those two. And then I got this one, which is, let me measure it before, before I show you. Oh, excuse me. This one is uh, six and three quarters. And this one says, trust your journey. And it's in a pink frame. Like I said, you can always take this apart and use it and just keep the frame. I mean, even for a dollar, this is the difference in the size of these two. I just wanted to show you. And even the thickness, like this one's a really thick frame and that one is not so much. But just the frame alone, you could do, a, you know, a gazillion different things with the frame. I just loved them. And then I picked up one canvas, and it is this one. I don't know if you can see the gold glitter. You probably can. Ah, there we go. There we go. See that? The gold in it. Yeah, I just thought that was super, super pretty. Just really, really pretty. So that's just the canvas. And this they've been coming out with canvases, if you've noticed that are just a little bit smaller than the old canvases. This one is the regular size canvas, which you guys is <clears throat> eight by eight. The new canvases, I don't have any to measure, but they are just a little bit smaller than these, if you've noticed. If you haven't, notice, okay? Because it's they're making them a little bit smaller. So just keep your eye out when you're buying the Dollar Tree canvases. So I got those. Let me just put these down here. Make, make myself some room. Room, room, room. All right. And then I picked up a couple of phone things. <clears throat> I had to grab this phone stand. I mean, don't you love it? It's pink, um, I don't know, animal print. Let me open it. I want to see what it looks like without the... I have one of these phone stands like everywhere in my house, in every room, and uh, I just love them. Now, isn't that so great? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So stinking cute. Oh my God. And then just put your phone on there and watch your videos. Watch your YouTube videos of me on your phone. Haha. <laughs> anyway, I picked that up. <clears throat> Love these phone stands. And then I picked up three of these um, scratch, sh uh, shatter resistant screen guards for the iPhone XR and 11. I have an iPhone 11. And you know what? Like I said before, these work just as well as the $40 ones that you pay for from Verizon or T-Mobile or Sprint or whoever you have that are charging you up the yin yang for Screen protectors, you can get them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and they work. So, <clears throat> every once in a while, they get scratched up, you know, as, as all screen protectors do. And I like to replace mine because I'm just obsessed with that kind of thing. 
So I grabbed those while I saw them because you can't always find the iPhone 11 ones if you're looking for iPhone 11 ones. Um, I picked up two little squishy unicorns, one for Caroline and one for Madeline. I just love squishies. Evie's too little for squishies yet because she likes to bite them. And, you know, she can't take a chunk out of these and choke on it. So they're two different colors. I'll give one to each of the girls. Um, da, da, da. Do I have anything else that isn't Christmas? Oh, yeah. Okay, I found the Happy and the B-Day blow-up um, balloons. If you guys watch Thrifty Tiffany at all, she bought these, and I actually used these at, um, I bought two sets of these, and I used them at um, Evie's first birthday party. These are great. They're, th the Happy is 37 inches, the B-Day is 25 inches, and you just ha put them together, and for $2, you got a really nice looking decoration. You just, there's a little uh, straw inside, and you just blow it up with your own hot air. And uh, it's got some string to hang it up with. And these are a great deal. I just got two sets because I know there'll be another birthday coming around soon. And uh, actually, Caroline's birthday is December 31st. So I could use these for that or whatever birthday comes along. So I got these. These come in silver and gold. The silver go pretty fast. I, there was a lot of gold, uh, and I had to really search through them to find the silver. But I got two sets. Um, what else did I get? Oh, you know, my famous home store napkins, premium napkins. I love these. Love them, love them. And I get them, you know, every chance. You know, I, I spot them and I go, you know what? I could use another pack of these. So I grab them. You get uh, 50 two-ply napkins and they're really a nice napkin. You know, if you're trying to do something a little special without using cloth napkins, they're a really nice napkin for that type of thing. And just for yourself. Um, the last thing I bought that is not Christmas is this emergency candle okay um i bought this because there was a power outage in my area a couple of weeks ago and i didn't lose my power but there was several thousand people in this area that lost their power for more than some one day some two days some three days some four days you know and uh I have candles, I have flashlights, but somebody said this works really good. So I said, you know what? I'm going to buy one and check it out. So I did open this up and put batteries in it. It says it's got 50 total hours of um, light, no wax mess, bright white LED light. So I opened it up and I put the two AAA batteries in and this is a screw on bottom. And then you just tighten it when you want to light it and unscrew it when you don't want it lit so it I think it's pretty bright and it comes with a little stand so you could you know actually use it like a faux candle so even if you don't need it for emergency lights what a great little like Christmas light this would be and it's bright look at that really really bright so i'm happy that i got it and i'm pretty sure that i picked up another one besides this one because i couldn't remember whether i bought it or not <laughs> you know that you know that feeling whether you you know when you're looking for something and you have a big old haul and then you go did i get that i don't remember the next time you were in the store and you go you know what i can always use two so anyway look at that light and here is your packaging if you're looking for them. I found these in the candle section. Okay, guys? Really like that a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm going to keep that out. This would be nice to have as a, like a little nightlight type thing, you know, in your room. Just put that by your bed. And when you get ready to go to bed, just, you know, when you 
Like, I lay in bed at night and watch TV, but I don't like to have just the TV light. I like to have a little night light on or whatever. I usually use my light on my bedstand, but that would be really cool to use. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Christmas, here we come. First thing I found was these mailboxes. North Pole Tree Farm, and they got the little um, flag on it, and look what they have on them. Red trucks, and you got the red truck here, and it opens, and then, you know, the other side looks the same as that, and the back is the same, so how cute are these? I picked up three of them. I mean, there, there's the mailbox part, you know, that opens up. Bloop. And then you got this part with the flag. How stinking cute is this? You could use this for your kids, have them write a letter to Santa and put it in the little mailbox. And then, you know, they go to sleep and you take the letter out and you put, you know, Santa's response from it in there and you put the little flag up and they open it up and they go, oh, Santa wrote back to me, blah, blah, blah. You know, how fun would that be? Or you could just use it as a gift. Fill it with candy or, you know, whatever. Whatever you wanted to fill it up with. And then the person that gets it gets to keep this really nice little um, mailbox. I mean, what an awesome thing. Yeah, so I picked up three of them. There were a whole bunch of them, so I don't feel bad about getting three. It's not like I was robbing anybody from getting them. So I got those. I bought a bunch of these last year, too, and I gave them away to the kids, filled them up with candy, and put them uh, with their stockings. But, I, you know, those are other ideas that I gave you. Um, I picked up two of these Santa Clauses. These are like a fabric material. I love the way this white, like, weave type for his beard, and, and then it's got the buffalo check. And he's just plain on the back, but I grabbed two of them to add to my country decor. I just thought they were so stinking cute. I mean, how cute is Santa? He's so cute. I love him. I love him. So cute. I got two of those. Um, I picked up a couple of picks. This is one with an alligator clip on it. I guess they're called clips. Are they called clips or picks? What? Decorative clip. I picked up this one with the gold ball and the um, poinsettia with the cutout. How pretty is that? Now this seems like it's pretty loose on here. I don't know whether that happened when I got it or I just put a little dab of glue on there. But so pretty for a dollar, right? For a dollar. I'm trying to show this so it really looks as pretty as it is in person. So I picked up two of those. Two of those. Love them. See this one? Uh, this one's on kind of loose too. But I grabbed two of those. I really love silver more than I love gold. But I just thought the gold was just so rich looking and pretty. I got those. And after I just say that, I picked up two packs of these glittery um, berries. So, so pretty with the gold glitter on them. I just thought they would really, you know, zhuzh up something. So I got two, two of those, you know, Christmas flower decorations. Very pretty. Um, I found the berry garland in the cream color. This is nine feet. Uh, it also comes in red and I think like a burgundy. But I picked up the white one on this particular haul. I'm pretty sure I got all of them, but I'm not really sure. I got so much stuff. But yeah, I got like about six bags of stuff. And I haven't even gotten to my... Um, 10% off bags yet. Haven't even gotten to that yet. All right, guys. That's the end of my Dollar Tree haul. If you want to stay around for friend mail, 
I'm going to open up some friend mail. I want to show... Oh, wait. There is one more thing. I found these in the Brunswick store. Have never seen them anywhere else. Have never seen anybody haul these. But they are pot socks. Okay? They're like a material. And you put it on the, you know, planter of a plant. And it, like, decorates it. See? Like... Like, so pretty. I was like, what? What? And these are by books from the makers of book socks. These are pet socks. Fabric cover. Make your plants happy. Fits a 10-inch pot. Washable, reusable, and stain resistant. How cool is that? I have never seen anybody haul these. Maybe somebody did, but I have never seen it. I got this one with the green. There were three different ones. I got this black striped one. I was like, oh my God, this is new. I've never seen anybody haul these and how great. And then I got this red one. How cool are these? I mean, I probably won't be using them until the springtime, but what a deal. For a dollar. Oh, my God. Really, really cool. Pull fabric cover upward from bottom. Continuing to stretch over flower pot. Adjust to fit and enjoy. Stretches to fit pots between 9 inches and 11 inches. I just thought they were so cool. I mean, wow. Wow. What, Dollar Tree? What are you doing? What are you doing? So that was the last... Oh, no, here... That was the last... No, here's one more thing. I forgot about these. These uh, clear see-through um, containers. They have a lid that pops off. Maybe. Uh, pops off. Okay. There's your container. And if you can see on the bottom... It has like an indented groove there. And the top has this little round top. And I got this one with the coffee cups because I thought I would put this with my coffee cup, my coffee gift that I'm going to give. Thought that was cool. And then I picked up this one because who doesn't love Santa Claus and Stillman? Who does not love a cutie patootie Santa like that? Oh, my God. And look at the little reindeer peeking over their shoulder. But anyway, the tops fit into each other, so they stack. So if you wanted three the same, you could stack them up. Three, four, five, whatever you wanted. Two, they stack, and they're, you know, they stack. Or you could have different ones. You could have Santa. You could have coffee. You could have another one. But I got a bunch of these last year with red trucks on them. The, I haven't seen red truck ones this year. But um, I only picked up these two. I thought they were really pretty. And I thought they were new this year. So I got those. And let me just check before I say that's the last thing. Yes. Officially, that is the last uh, Dollar Tree item I got. All right, you guys, let me get to this um, friend mail. So um, for those of you that aren't going to stick around, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, I usually do friend mail videos separate, but I just really needed to get to this some of this friend mail. So um, if you're not going to stick around for friend mail, have a great week. Talk to you soon. Not talk to you soon, but I'll see you soon. Um, and for those of you that are staying around, yay. All right. First thing, um, a these are, some of these are kind of, they've been around a while. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk today. They've been around a while, but I just wanted to show you some really nice, um, handmade cards that I got. I mean, I enjoy them very much. This one is newer. Um, it's a kitty cat with a black cat. And this is from Alice Kustis. From Arizona, she sent me this card, and it says, You deserve a really happy Halloween, and I'm not kidding. 
and I'm not kidding. How cute is that? So I got that from her, and Alice, I got, um, I read your request, and uh, I will email you with um, an answer to that. So there you go. How stinking cute is that? I'm going to put that up as a decoration in my house. And then I got a card from Victoria Jane, my friend from Sunnyvale, California, who's always sent me some lovely friend mail. Um, she sent me, put some stickers on here, Halloween stickers. And she sent me this card that says, when creatures come crawling out into the night and the moon shines down with an eerie light, and shadowy shapes appear left and right. You know it's Halloween. Happy haunting. And then she put some stickers on the inside. This little felt ghost. Thank you so much, Victoria. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. And I love the Bugs Bunny. Um stamp on it very cute um hang on just a second guys and these other cards are like i said they've been around a while and i just haven't showed them and i know that you guys really went through a lot of trouble to make them so i really want to uh show you them this particular envelope i just got um it was uh post postage due um because it wasn't enough uh, postage on it. It should have been pa uh, sent as a package and not a letter, but um, the girl at the post office is really nice to me, so she let me go on that. And this is from Tammy Widener of Roseville, Michigan. Am I Michigan? Yes. And Tammy sent me a little note saying that she watches my YouTube channel and she knows I'm a red truck fiend. And she sent me a set of the red truck string lights. Thank you so much, Tammy. I love them. Yay. Because I gave away one of my sets to one of my coworkers who's been looking for them because our store hasn't gotten them yet. Well, I they remember that story I told you they came while I was away on vacation? Yeah, and we haven't gotten them in again. So I gave her one of mine because she's in love with red trucks too my friend Britt from dollar tree if you're watching my haul yay hi how are you she's the one i gave the red truck um string lights to so thank you tammy i appreciate that very much yay yay and then uh nancy nichols sent me another envelope from Plant City, Florida. And Nancy sent me and Caroline matching pink flamingo masks. Thank you so much, Nancy. It's so kind of you to keep sending me masks. I really love them. So, so nice. Pink flamingo. Love it. Love it. And Caroline just loves it when we wear matching masks. So she is going to love that. Thank you again, Nancy. It's so sweet of you. Very, very sweet of you. Very, very sweet of you. And all of these people that have sent me cards and whatever, um, I did put your name into the drawing. Speaking of which, I need to have a drawing again soon. So we got to do that. I'm going to put that aside so we do that this is from the pink lady um from selma north carolina and she sent me her name is janet and she said i love watching your channel i found a pack of these and thought i would share one with you thank you so much uh janet and she sent me this really pretty handkerchief. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? 
very, very pretty. Thank you so much, Janet. I love that. And this has been around for a while, and I'm so sorry, Janet, that I'm just showing it. I really do appreciate all of the friend mail that you guys send me. I'm just overwhelmed how much love you got you guys show me, and I'm just thank you. That's all I can say. I don't even know have words. Um, this is from Erica Newkirk from Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, and she made me this Happy Halloween card. Oops, one of the doohickeys fell off. I'll have to glue that back on. This card was made for the year 2020 Halloween, and it's got that on the back. To glue that on. And it says, we hope all is good and well with you and your family. My kids and I wish you all a safe and happy Halloween. Thanks and keep in touch, Erica and kids. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Erica and kids. Thank you very much for this beautifully made homemade card. I mean, how cute. You took the time to make a card for me, and that really touches my heart. I'll have to put this out, too, for my Halloween decorations, because I don't really decorate for Halloween. And tomorrow is Halloween! Um, yeah, tomorrow's Halloween. It's supposed to be really cold here in New York, and I feel bad for the kids, because I don't even know what they're going to do as far as trick-or-treating go. And this card is from Mandy... Smiley, I think. Clarendon, Oklahoma. And look at that, how she decorated that. And did that on the back. And it says, kindly delivered to Miss Kathy Donovan. And she sent me a card that says, just a little note from me. And then she wrote me a nice long note inside, which I'm not going to read. And she sent me this. Your face is like sunshine. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mandy. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to read this online. But thank you so much, Mandy. I really appreciate it. And I'm sorry it took me so long to show your card. I did read it previous um but thank you so very much for thinking of me um this is from k manis from alexandria virginia and she made this card for me with the flamingo washi and the glittery paper and it says kathy hey i love your youtube channel i hope you have a wonderful week take care Kristen Manis. Thank you so much, Kristen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I can't tell because they stamped right over your address how long ago you sent this, but I really, truly appreciate it, and I'm sorry it took me so long to get back to you. Thank you very much for the card. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, this card is from... Alpharetta, Georgia, and no name on it, but so I will have to open it up to find out. And it says, many thanks. And this is a homemade card. It says, made especially for you by Darren Thompson. Thank you so much, Darren. How beautiful. Hi, Kathy. Thank you so much for your Dollar Tree hauls on YouTube. I never shopped there until watching your hauls. Another victim love the uh black drawers you told us about the cutting mats never saw them in my local now i can't shop because i have covid oh i'm so sorry darren i hope you have recovered from that that's a terrible terrible thing and i hope that you made a full recovery from that she sent this to me in August, so wishing you health and happiness, Darren. And uh, I'm glad I turned you on to Dollar Tree, and I hope you're able to go out there now. Thank you so much for the card. This is from 
E. Valencia of Willows, California. And let's see who E is before I show it to you. This is from Eloise Valencia. And look at this homemade card. Look at it. It's got a little window where you can put little glittery things in there. I'm trying to show you. And then a bow on it. How pretty is that? And it opens up, you know, like that. And it says, uh, Dear Kathy and Caroline, I've only been watching you for a short while, but I have enjoyed watching your DT hauls. I love the patience you have with Caroline. Keep up the great hauls. Please enter me in your giveaway. Have a great day, Eloise Valencia. Did I say Erica? I don't know why I said that. Eloise, I love this card. Look at how beautiful that is. Beautiful, beautiful. Someday I'm going to be able to make my own cards. But I treasure all these ones that you guys have made. So beautiful. And everybody who sent me a card, your name has been entered into the giveaway. I do have a whole list of people I'm going to read. Um, <clears throat> if I haven't read your name already, um, I did go through all of my friend mail and my... Um, cards and stuff with my best friend Connie we went through and made sure everybody that was sent me something got in the drawing so that is be rest assured if you sent me something you're in the drawing um this is from Sandra Thornton from Leesburg Florida and this is a gorgeous card as well look at this look at this card she made me can you see the silver? It's a pocketbook. It's a, oh, it's a pocketbook. Isn't that gorgeous with the flowers and the hello? And then, ooh, and then it opens up like that. And it's got the flamingo and it's got this little thing in here. And uh, she put in a little card that says, thank you so much that I'm sure she made. And look at this beautiful little pocket. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much, Sandra. And she sent me a little nice little note. Oh my God, received your adorable package. The envelope was so pretty that I didn't want to throw it away. The contents weren't so bad either. I have a big time crafter, 76. I am a big time crafter, 76 years young. You go, girl. Also makes it for a long time. So nothing will go to waste. Thank you so much for your thoughtfulness. I have never done a face mask, so that should be interesting. I'll have fun with that. If you hear a whole lot of laughter way up there you'll know that it's me i have not been watching dollar tree hauls for too long maybe about a year or less but your channel was my very first one. Oh, thank you sandy and i hope you're still wa you're still watching you said a good vibe because i have been watching it ever since keep up the great job sandy thornton thank you so much sandy i love 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 this card you just are amazing look at the inside of this just gorgeous 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 stuff i wish i could and look it's got like a little a little like thingy like a thing hanging like charm i love it Thank you so much, Sandy. Gosh, it's gorgeous. You guys are so, so talented. I, for one, don't have the time to be crafty. But also, I don't think I have the imagination either. Which is sad, but true. Sad, but true. And this is from... Doo -doo -doo, who is this from? This is from Charlene Genge. I think that's how you pronounce it from Ontario, Canada. Charlene sent me a package many, many moons ago. I never got it. And she sent me a card. It looks homemade to me. It says handmade, so maybe not. But she sent me this card and she said, uh, I'm the one who sent you a big package you never received from Canada. So I'm trying a card. Love all your videos 
and you as well. And it says a very special thank you for your kindness and thoughtfulness, Charlene. Thank you so much, Charlene. I did receive your card, and I believe I told you quite a while ago that I did get the card, and I appreciate that you tried to send me something. I'm sorry that it never got to me, but I, I appreciate the thought, and that's all that matters. All right, I got a couple packages. Let's get to that. Thank you, everybody, for the beautiful handmade cards. All right, this first package is from Robin Ellison from Oscondido, California. And I pre-opened all of these um, just to save time. So let's see what's inside here. Okay, I'm sorry Caroline's not with me tonight. And um, if there's anything in here that you sent, um, I will make sure she gets it and enjoys it. Oh, how cute are these little cutie pies? Little toy things for Caroline. Oh, don't drop them now. There's little Chip or Dale. I'm not sure which. They're interchangeable. How cute are these? They're little like, they got like suction cups on the bottom. Then there's uh, Mickey Mouse. How cute are these? Oh, there's Daisy Duck. So cute. She's going to love these. And uh, this guy, uh, is that... He's from The Lion King. I forgot what his name is. Timon, Timor, or something like that. But he's cute. So cute. Thank you so much, Robin. What did I just do with the envelope? There we go. I will make sure Caroline sees these and enjoys them. And I will try to get her on video, you know, with these. But I don't know. I'm doing the best I can. She hasn't been around much lately because I've been working, working, working. See what else is in here. Let's see if I can find a card. I hope there's a card in here, Robin. Maybe. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. She sent me a card. It says Kathy. P.S. I hope I got you something, Flamingo, you didn't already have. A Flamingo nail file. Yes, I do not have a Flamingo nail file. Look at this. It's got a little... Uh, tassel on it how cute is that i love it thank you robin i do not have a flamingo nail file but i do now thank you so much i love it let me open the card <clears throat> and it says thanks oh goodness a note for caroline's Caroline, Grandma's assistant. Dear Caroline, I enjoy so much watching you with your grandma on her channel. It shows how special you are and how much you and your grandma love each other. If I had a grand granddaughter, I would want her to be like you. Oh, I'll, I'll definitely read that to her, Robin. Thank you. And it says, hi, Kathy. Thanks again for the bulldog washi tape and the other goodies. You are too generous. I am sorry for also getting this out late to you. The little bag of Disney characters are from Miss Caroline. Yes, I figured that. Thank you so much, Robin. And you're welcome for the washi. And thank you so much for, um, you know, sending me cash. That's... I always feel weird about that when you guys, you know, say you're going to send me money for something and I send it to you and then you actually send me the money. I just kind of feel weird about that. I don't know. But thank you so much, Robin. And she sent me, ooh, truffles, pure milk chocolate with caramel filling. Thank you. I will munch on these tonight. Thank you. I got some milk. Ooh, San Diego Pacific Coast. She sent me a magnet. Yes. Someday I hope to get to San Diego. I've been to California one time when my brother was living in Santa Monica. So I went to Santa Monica and I went to L.A. Beautiful, beautiful area. And I can't wait to go to San Diego. Thank you for the magnet. I love it. 
Love it, love it, love it. I'll put that on my fridge. And this, apparently, I cut when I opened the package. So, I don't know. hope I didn't ruin it. I hope I didn't ruin it. What is it? Oh, she sent me some stickers. Oil stickers. And, oh, oh, these are really pretty. Love these. Thank you so, so much. I don't have these. Thanks, Robin. I really appreciate it. Home sweet home. Today is a good day to have a good day. Laugh often, yes. What I love most about my home is who I share it with. Oh, I love these. Thank you so much, Robin. That's, I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. And Caroline will love her little goodies as well. And I'll read her her, um, her little note from you. Thank you so much. I'm going to just set that aside so I can mark that down. Whenever you guys send me packages, I write down your name and address and the things that you sent me. Because I just want to remember all the special things you guys sent me. And, it, you know, with, with so many subscribers, it's hard to remember who... Who sent me what? So I write it down. I write it down. So, like I said, my memory ain't what it used to be. And this package is from Dawn Reese from Shorewood, Minnesota. Sent me a package. Let's see. Is there a card? Yes, there is. Card. Let's open the card. Open the card. Oh. Dawn sent me her 3 by 5 card for the giveaway. I will put that in the giveaway, Dawn. And then this card. It's an original finger painting by Noah Peterson, 2018. See that? Very nice. See what the card says. Kathy, thank you for all the wonderful Dollar Tree hauls. I finally found the watermelon taffy and I had to send some. I found the flamingo stickers at Hobby Lobby and thought of you right away. I found these frozen items for the sweet Miss Caroline. She is such a sweet addition to your videos. Thank you, Dawn Reese. P.S. You are my first friend mail. Oh, thank you so much, Dawn. I'm honored. I am honored to be your first friend mail. Thank you so, so much. And I feel bad that I didn't open this sooner because, you know, being your first friend mail. But thank you so much. You'll be added to the giveaway. And uh, let's see what's inside here. Okay. Oh, this is for Miss Caroline. She sent one of these um, washcloths with Elsa. Guess what she's going to be for Halloween? Elsa. So she will love that. Thank you so much. And thank you for, from her. And she sent me the watermelon taffy that I haven't been able to find. But has just recently come back out in my store. Love these glitter I see the glitter flamingo stickers. Love them. And she sent some frozen stickers for Miss Caroline. She will love them. Thank you, everybody, for being so kind to Miss Caroline. She just loves all your little thoughtful gifts. She really does appreciate them. Thank you so much, Dawn. Thank you very, very much that aside let's see what this is this is from mary lothaman 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 from new haven indiana it says handle with care and let's see what's in here all right let's find a card here we go Oh, Kathy and Caroline, look, it's got the red truck on it. It's a sticker. I love that. And a sunflower, which I also love sunflowers. 
Let's see what she said. And a cute little card. Two little birdies. Oh dear, this is a long one. Um, actually, she asked how my fan that uh, said that hope your family is well and your friend Cheryl is doing okay. And um, my friend Cheryl actually passed away two days ago, and that is another reason why I've not been filming. Um, yeah. I've lost a really dear, dear friend. Uh, she has been friends with me since my son was born. She started working where I was working. She came on while I was on maternity leave, and I came in with my baby, which was Albert, 36 years ago, and we just we just became friends after. since then. We've been friends ever since, even after she retired and I retired. And, we still hung around and was friends, and, uh, yeah, um, yeah, she passed away this week, so that, um, really was not, uh, I'm gonna read this later, because, anyway, I was trying not to bring that up, because I've just been trying to take my mind off it, but anyway, um, she sent me these, uh, flamingo napkins, it's, um, a 40 count of two ply napkins. Oh, come on. All right. All right I promised I wasn't going to get sad during this. Um, she sent me these two ply napkin, flamingo napkins. And she sent me um, a color in wood ornament kit. There's a old doggy and a, a doggy and a cat. Caroline will love this. Thank you so much. Um, all right, I'm thrown off here. Mary Lou, Mary, not Mary Lou, Mary. <coughs> and she made this little card for me. How pretty is that? And she made this for me. Oh, how pretty is that? And then it's got pineapple on the back. Thank you so much, Mary. You're very crafty. Very crafty. And then she made me this card. So beautiful. Very, very pretty. And then she made me this card. Thank you so much, uh, Mary. Yeah, I can, I can use these, I hope, right? Isn't that why they're in plastic bags? So I can, like, send these to people? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so, um, yeah, I can't get this out of the bag right now. But thank you so much, Mary. Very crafty of you. Very, very crafty of you. Thank you, thank you so, so much. I appreciate everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I appreciate you um, thinking of my friend Cheryl. And I will read your card a little later. <clears throat> Um, I got this package from Shelly. Shelly from Independence, Missouri. M.O. Missouri. Um, and she sent me... <coughs> Excuse me. I can't read your last name, Shelly. Happy Halloween. Oh, another Halloween card. Thank you so much. Very cute. Kathy and Caroline, Kathy, I know you probably already have this flamingo pick, but I had to get it anyway to send to you. And the stickers are for Caroline, but I'm sure you know that already. Be safe, happy, and healthy. Wishing you a Halloween filled with good old-fashioned fun, Shelly. Thank you, Shelly. I love the card. I love this picture. This flamingo picture, she sent me the flamingo canvas. Thank you so much. I love it. And then she sent me some stickers for Caroline. Reflective hearts. Love these Disney stickers. 
might have to steal these from her. And then she sent some animal stickers. Very cute animal stickers. Caroline loves stickers, so she will love these. Thank you so much, Shelly. I truly appreciate it. And you can never have too many flamingo canvases. That's all I have to say about that. Felt like Forrest Gump. And then I got this box, which I pre-opened from S. Dumond of Wyoming, Michigan. Ooh, something for Caroline. Is there a card? Um, I don't see a card in here. Is there a card? Card? Card, card, card. No, I don't see a card. S. Dumond of Wyoming, Michigan. Thank you so much for the package. She sent Caroline a jumbo princess coloring book, which she will love. I love Disney princesses. She loves Disney princesses. Thank you very much. She'll love that. And she sent an adult coloring book for me. So we could color and I can color. Very nice. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And she sent me some flamingo popsicle makers. How cute are those? Love them. Love, love, love them. Thank you so much. And then this is from Russia. There's a package in here from Russia. Okay, what is it? It's in a package from Russia, and then it's another package. Oh, for, to Sharon, Sharon Dumond. Sharon must have ordered me something from Russia, or this got in my package by mistake, I'm not sure. Well, let's find out, let's open it up, see what it is. I'm curious. What do you know about France? Their postcards. How cool is that? And it has a bunch of information about France. What do you know about Italy? What do you know about Ireland? How cool. Love it. Love these. So cool. What do you know about Mexico? What do you know about Spain? What do you know about the Netherlands? These will be really informative because I don't really know all that much about different places. What do you know about Australia? Oh, these are really cool. Thanks, Sharon. Was well, Sharon, right? Yes, yeah, Sharon. Sorry. What do you know about the United Kingdom? I do have subscribers from the United Kingdom. What do you know about Canada? I definitely have subscribers from Canada. I'm pretty sure I do have one from Ireland that just recently. What do you know about the USA? What do you know about Japan? So I know I have a, let me see where I have subscribers from. I know I have a subscriber from, I think I have one from Ireland. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I know the United Kingdom. So if any of there, any of my other subscribers are from out of the country, I'd really like to know that. But really cool postcards. I love them, Sharon. Thank you so much. I'm going to learn about these countries. Very cool. Thank you so, so much. I love it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that, my friends, is the end of my friend mail. Um, I hope you all stay well. I hope you get out and vote. Vote, vote, vote in this election. Like I said, we've been swamped. Oh, my God, I haven't even had time to breathe the last week. So, um, I hope you all understand why I haven't been around and, uh, stay well. 
Uh, I love you all and uh, have a great week. And I hope to get another video up maybe uh, over the weekend. Voting hours are only 9 to 2 Saturday and Sunday. But we'll see how things go over the next couple days. Love y'all. Stay well. Stay blessed. See you now. Bye.